Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iPhone iCloud backup just keeps failing time and time again. So you may be getting a pop-up that looks something like this. So quite possibly more like this than anything else. And the main reason why you're getting this specific pop-up is because more times than not, the iPhone that you have, the specific storage, the amount of storage you have in your iCloud drive is basically running out. So what does that mean? Well, essentially, you do not have enough storage on your iPhone to actually have a backup in the first place. So an iCloud backup, depending on how much storage you have in your iPhone, it will back up pretty much everything on your device. And if it fails to back up like this, it's either one of two things. Either you weren't connected to a network connection or you didn't have enough storage on your iPhone. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application like this. You want to scroll down to general. You want to click software. You want to click iPhone storage right here. And you want to see how much storage is being taken up on your iPhone. So you can see 32.4 gigabytes. You need to figure out how much storage you have on your iCloud drive. So typically, if you go and hop out of here, if you click up here, you click on iCloud. Before you even click on it, you can see that you have the amount of storage right there. So for me, I have 5 gigs. I will not be able to fully do a you know full backup. However, if you have 50 or 100 or 500 or a terabyte of storage, then you should be able to do that backup. So what I'd recommend doing is making sure you have a network connection that you're connected to or a data connection. If you're not connected to either one of those, your backup is not going to work out properly. So that's the first thing and the second thing. And the next thing is, is if you're on iOS 15, you can actually do a full temporary backup of your iPhone. It stores 30 days. After 30 days, it deletes it. But you can actually go ahead and actually do a full backup of your iPhone easier that way. So what you can do is if you're on iOS 15, like I mentioned, you can scroll down into general, you can scroll down into transfer or reset iPhone, and you can go up here where it says prepare for new iPhone. You can click get started and you can actually back up your iPhone this way. So if you don't have enough storage on your iCloud drive, you can back up your iPhone this way. And it's another awesome way to just, you know, store your data up. Again, it's a temporary backup, so only 30 days, but it's still much better than just not having a backup in general. Now, for some reason that doesn't work, you don't want to do that either. Another thing you can try doing is to powering off your phone. So do the typical buttons that you'd normally have to, you know, fully power off your phone. For some reason, that doesn't work either. What you could do is make your way over to your settings application like this. Then you can go ahead and go down into general right here. And I'd recommend updating your iPhone. So updating your iPhone, if there's an update available, I would highly recommend doing it because if you don't, then you may be on a super outdated version of software and Apple may have fixed the problem, but because you're on an outdated version of software, you probably didn't even get the update. So those are just a couple different ways to fix this for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.